Hey Dario, have you seen that we are joining the Green Game Jam for the third year in a row? This time we're going to call it the June's Journey Wildlife Week. Oh yes, I'm glad that we're always supporting good causes, like saving the natural habitats of various animals. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what was the natural habitat we were supporting this year? It was the Himalayas, and we're going to have this amazing collection of in-game decorations with the wild yak, the black bear, the monal, and the snow leopard as well. Did you say snow leopards? They're one of my top three animals. I watched so many documentaries about them. They're perfectly adapted to the Himalayas, and their camouflage is so good that they're called the ghosts of the mountain. Oh wow, I never knew you were so into snow leopards. Have you ever seen one in real life? Unfortunately, no. I was never able to travel to the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any closer from here. I heard they have a family living in the Leipzig Zoo. Would you be up for a road trip? <laughs> Would I? <laughs> Let's go! Awesome. And I have just the gear for it. Me too! Wow, you're looking the part. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to jump to the zoo. Speaking of jumps, did you know that they can jump up to 15 meters? Really? I didn't know that. The only thing I saw is that they have this funny meow. They are the only big feline that cannot roar. Here, I have it on my phone. <laughs> They're so cute and so fluffy. Maybe because they have the thickest fur of all big felines. They have four thousand hair per square centimeter. That's 20 times as human have. It sounds amazing. Let's check it out. Yeah, Woo! let's go. <laughs> there they are. It's so incredible to see them in real life. Check out that chest area. It's so much bigger than your average cat size, right? Mm -hmm. This is how they maintain so active in such high altitudes. Makes sense. The Himalayas are very high and they can go up to 6,000 meters as if it's nothing. Yeah, and it's also super cold up high. Before I mentioned the fur that they have, mm -hmm. so thick, but also they have these long tails that they double their body size and they use them in the night as blankets to warm themselves oh. up. It's amazing how a familiar animal like a feline can be so well adapted to the environment. I'll never be able to tell all these details just by looking at them. I wonder if they're doing well here. Oh yeah, they are. We just talked to an expert from the zoo. Hallo, ich bin die Maria und ich arbeite hier im Zoo Leipzig seit 2011. Ja, wir halten hier momentan vier Schneeleoparden und gerade hinter mir zu sehen ist unser ältester Kandidat, das ist der Onjägen. Der Onjägen hat schon ein Alter von 20 Jahren. Also wir stellen die Tiere hier da. Hier lernt man die Tierart kennen, den Schneeleoparden. Und indem man den Schneeleoparden ähm, ähm, ja, erhalten möchte. Also wir nehmen selber auch mit dran teil am EEP, am Europäischen Erhaltungszuchtprogramm. Und wenn man das Areal vom Schneeleoparden schützt, dann schützt man ja automatisch auch mehrere Tiere, die dort mit im Lebensraum sind. Und wir sind, also der Schneeleopard ist quasi hier im Zoo der Vertreter für all die Artgenossen, die auch in der Natur leben und für alle anderen Tiere, die dort halt mit ihm das Revier teilen. So zoos do their part to preserve the species and also to educate about the native habitats. Like we want to do with the June's Journey Wildlife Week. Yeah. Unfortunately, human activity in the Himalayas made their numbers go down to a few thousand. Farmers kill them to protect their cattle because they are not well informed about how special the snow leopards are. Also, some people actively go after them for the wonderful colder fur. Not to mention climate change. Trees are now able to grow in much higher altitudes, moving their prey away and making their territory much smaller. So while zoos try to help, it's essential to protect their natural habitats. And I know exactly who can support us with this task. Detectives, find in the description information about the charity organizations and ways to donate. As a thank you, we'll send you a five-star box for every $10 you donate. This is going to be the best green game jam ever. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And as always, enjoy the journey.